you kick this knee forward and your hip, of course, comes along for the ride. Then you spin on that toe. Let's talk about spinning out your hips. Now, this is an entirely different move than spinning out your feet. In fact, I'm going to come up here sideways so we can get a better look at it. When you spin out your hips, what you're doing is you're coming back and that you're coming up on this toe early. So your hip comes forward. Let's see if I can do it in speed. Kind of fell over there. It's not something I do regularly, so I'm just kind of demoing it. But the problem is that you're bringing this heel up early, you're getting that your knee forward, and then your hip spins on that toe. That's what spinning out your hips is. Again, come back, you bring, you come up on that foot early or come up on your toe early and start to spin on it. Again, spinning out your hips. You come up on that toe early and you spin on your toe. Now this is different than the normal golf move. You come sideways and then you come up on your toe late. Notice my knee's not kicking forward. That's the big problem with spinning out your hips. It's really a knee and foot movement. Less than, your hip is just kind of along for the ride. Because as soon as you kick this knee forward, your hip is coming forward. Now, a lot of people here spinning out their hips and think, oh, I've got to stop turning my hips so hard. No, turn your hips as hard as you want. Just don't kick your knee forward. As long as you're not kicking your knee forward, you can spin that hip as hard as you want and it won't get in the way. Or you can turn your hip as hard as you want and it won't get in the way. We don't want to spin your hip, which is this movement, okay? As long as you don't kick your knee forward, you can turn your hip as hard as you want. <laughs> 